Hello everyone and welcome back meat department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today So we're on my free to play alt meat underscore department and boy has it been a while He is completely free to play just showing here. There's no passes purchased on this character right here This is my free to play alt and I love it. I've been playing this for over a year in itself in addition to my main and everything else I've been doing if you've been with me that long and you see I've been rocking this summer event as well just getting lucky across the board really so the main focus has still been on my main character with those super Sundays but hey even scrounging up the shells on these oh things have been good so I have two evolved pirate hats these are the best artifacts in the game my multipliers are times 48 I also have an evolved Coco pet and oh my goodness so right now this is already ideally what I would want at the least before the summer event ended was an evolved Coco and an evolved Ent from the Easter event right as my second pet but there's still a little bit of time left I'm thinking and I should be able well I don't know if I should be able to but I'm, I'm hoping the luck is on my side and I can gather up the luck to get five more Cocos and evolve them and be complete from this event that would be amazing so oh, I've been grinding away you see I'm 75 million levels as well so we're gonna do the rebirth today and we're gonna go up a ton of skills I'm gonna get 72 billion soul gems my skills are 10,800 so I'm gonna probably go up to 12,000 something I'm guessing and then we'll see how fast I can get set back up if I can even find a back and sites of prophecy with the amount of passive income that this guy is gonna give me so right now it's 3.14 million right now, right? That's not bad considering it's free to play and has no additional times two XP, gold, passes, only two pets and all that. So not too terrible. He's getting pretty decent levels per swing as well. Right now he's getting like 30 levels per swing. So actually I could keep on swinging with this pretty effectively, but I guess I just want to stop here, do the 75 million rebirth. This is going to be the second highest rebirth I've done on this guy. The highest I've done was level 115 million and i could try to put the card above for you to click find that video that is a, a huge level for a free to play alt this is a huge level as well 75 million oh my goodness but i'm gonna stop here rinse and repeat and you know maybe i can then dive into some challenge videos on this guy and not have to worry about keeping grinding him, him up at some point we'll try to get a new high level but that's not the goal right now so let's go ahead and just rebirth we're gonna want to probably pick up a quest and get some initial gold and actually probably get those legendary weapons over there because they're so cheap and they're gonna be effective enough while we work around so let's jump right into it and see the free to play rebirth at level 75 million the skills are gonna go up a pretty good amount and my passive is gonna go from 3.14 right is that pie pie day so let's go ahead and get the rebirth set up oh we did it okay so we have 10,800 we're going up to 12,400 okay so we got 1600 skills 1600 skills and we got a, about ooh we went from 3.14 to 3.58 so we went up 0. 0.44 I'll take it that's pretty pretty good right there that is pretty good so 400,000 passive um yeah let's max out run equip run swing this little training sword away we're gonna get some passive income here and just get a couple of these legendaries we got the quest to kill the gnomes five times so that's pretty easy so let's just buy a boatload of these i at least want to get the winter blade the 1.9 speed weapon is going to be critical but actually i'm getting so much gold here i think actually we're not in a rush for anything we're just doing the old rebirth and setting back up and we did get it though so let's put this combo in the offhand so here we go main hand winter blade offhand axe the reason for that is because the speed of the winter blade 1.9 can give you the most experienced ticks you can get in the game that's why all the new mythic weapons are at the 1.9 speed by default every single one of them is whereas these legendaries are not so let's go ahead and hunt down the last two gnomes we already have enough gold to start by a mythic chest see what i'm saying this free to play alt is beefy Right? I put a lot of love into this dude and I really enjoy playing it. All the work has been worth it because this is actually a lot of fun to play. I've been thinking about actually playing this a lot more aggressively. Uh, 
So leave in the comments below if you like the free to play series and you want me to, to actually try to get this guy as beefy as possible. Now I know he's already beefy, right? But I mean, put more of a focus on him. Uh, Cause that's kind of fun. I'd like to ideally get him up to 25,000 skills. I think that would be in a monstrous feat of strength, to be honest. All right, so we're already at 300 million. We need to kill Borak one time. So I'm just gonna keep this set up right now. We're level 21,000, that's fine. Um, I guess we could try to join the arena. Let's see if anyone else joins. We're not really beefed up with any enchants on any of our stuff, so we might actually get knocked down pretty hard, but that's okay. We definitely want to hit the arena if we can, because take, you know, the most efficient use of time. But it doesn't look like anyone in the server is going to do it, so, all right. But we'll go ahead and kill Borak. And we do want to see how much gold Borak gives. I'm actually curious. He should give a hefty chunk. Um, 119 million. Okay. Thank you, Borak. So we're getting a lot of gold. And we're going to be able to start opening up some chests and at least get some mythic gear on. Um, while we work towards getting sights and back the fire god and just kind of all that stuff, you know? So let's turn this in. Keep on auto clicking here. Let's get the next quest. Kill the demon king one time. Okay. I can do that. It's perfect because I do want to go to the temple and start opening chests anyways. So let's go. Let's get that. Gotta get the shells on the way. Bam. It's a free chunk of passive. So that's another tip, right? When you rebirth, sometimes I just run orb circuits for 10, 20, 30 minutes at a time in a server that's dead because you're getting about, what, 59 of those a minute if you do it efficiently. And I did make a video on how to farm orbs efficiently the best way. If you get 59 of those every minute, you do it for 20, 30 minutes. That's a lot of extra ticks of gold. And you're getting shells on top of that for the event. So now let me tell you, it helps you get kickstarted. All right, so let's go ahead and spam open some of these. I'm keeping an eye on my gold, of course. And let's spam open a couple of these. See if we could get lucky with a quick back the fire god. That would be nice. All right, let's check out the bags without going too crazy at the moment. So right now, okay, we have a Reaper's Reach. That is respectable. I'm not even a high enough level for it. Let me give it a couple swings. Bam. So we want to put that on, and then the Thor Hammer would be the second best one. Definitely get rid of that. And now we have those. For Mythic Skins, okay, we have the second best one. I will equip that for sure. Now I enchanted Ren a little bit, but that's okay. We're not going for full. There we go. We're going to do that for now. Let's open up another weapon. Let's open up another couple skins. Yep. Let's do that. And then let's go run over to the Demon King. So let's check out what we got. Okay. That was garbage right there. Okay. So let's actually max out. Okay. There we go. So he's almost what the run was. And another Reaper's Reach. Okay. So that's respectable now. So now I have respectable stuff to put a little bit of resources into while I continue trying to get the scythe and back. So that's pretty much my goal is to get the scythes and back because I do want to grind with those and it is worth it to actually get those. But I don't want to just, you know, whiff these around with nothing enchanted in them. So I'm going to put some gold into to them because I do want to still make use of the time I'm trying to gather enough gold to buy more chests, if that makes sense. Um, and just a little bit of enchanting even helps. It goes a long way in the long run. So let's go ahead and turn this quest in here. And let's see what we can do. So not bad. We have the second best setup right now. Kill the Demon King two times. Okay. And let me show you what I was talking about. Let me, let me just drop some gold into Reaper's Reach there. Now we'll start getting some decent levels. So basically what I'm saying is if you run the orb circuit, I call it the orb circuit. It's basically coming out here. Oh God, get wrecked. Okay. <laughs> I got wrecked. <laughs> Stay away from that guy. Come out here and pick up the orbs. You're going to get so much gold and you're collecting shells at the same time. So look at that. I'm already up to 70 million. 70 million. So this is, this is a beautiful thing to do between arenas, especially if you have the quest. 
that is in itself to go collect X amount of orbs. Well, it doesn't get much sweeter than that. Because after you do this anyways, you're going to go turn into the bunny and you're going to get a, a bigger reward. So I'm already at 150 million just from coming out here. And, and this isn't even an efficient or full lap. Because that person over there wrecked me when I ran by him. So that's what I'm talking about right there. So, collect that shell. We should probably go kill the Demon King again and open up some more chests. Let's see if we get lucky and land a scythe really early. Chances of that happening, probably slim to none. It usually takes billions of gold. So I basically AFK swing for hours, collecting shells anyways, come back with a lot of gold and go rip open those temple chests. And eventually one falls, right? Because every time you have the chance to do it, it's just a matter of when it's going to actually happen for you. So let's kill the Demon King twice. Let's get this quest out of the way since we're here. Right? It's the best use of time since I want to come to the temple and buy those chests anyways. So there's one. Where's he going to drop? Is he, is he going to drop here? Drop it like it's hot. Over there. All right. He likes that little green patch on the wall there. So let's whittle him down. Get him down. Complete the quest. And then we'll, uh, we'll sell some of the chests. See how much gold we have. It, it always feels bad to rebirth on this guy when I have double sights. Because... I know what it took to get those uh but you know you gotta rebirth that's that's the name of the game that's how you get a little bit stronger every single time you do it so buy that and let's check out our bags and see what we got let's open them up we didn't get anything good for weapons will there be a back hidden in there no back that's a shame so let's go ahead put a little bit of money into this dude and keep on swinging away so that's pretty much it i'm gonna rinse and repeat this process to get set up i might run orb circuits for a while i may continue to mix quest in and kill borok instead it really just depends on what i feel like doing i might go stand actually at the gnomes for a little bit of time because every gnome that runs into you gives you double resources uh just to really build up a fast reserve to go hammer home some more chests and all that so it's convenient enough that i just got the quest to hunt gnomes 10 times so maybe we'll go there and end it there. I always want to show you the gnomes here. This is also a spot. So there's a lot of strategies to get some quick gold. And I, I like to stand right here in, in the center with my auto swinger on. Now, some of them are going to run past you. And of course, if you're active, you can go get it. But if I was to step away for about a half an hour or an hour, see this? Bam, he gives 7.16 million. So that's double. It's double my passive. Every, every time one runs into you, it's going to give you a little bit of XP. But more importantly, bam, it's going to give you the speed, which that's not really that important either anymore, and double gold. So, I mean, you start to get a lot. This is probably more efficient than orbs if you're in a server where there's a lot of people doing orbs. But it's all kind of just dependent on what you're able to do. Orbs are a good active base. This is a great way to AFK fast gold right here, and this is usually what I do. So you see how fast I get it. So I'm going to be chilling here for a while and going and opening those chests and seeing what i can do but ultimately i want to get back in that shell circle and i probably prefer orb farming right now over this because i do want the shells to get more cocoa pets from the summer event crates so right now i'm kind of on the orb side when i am active on my characters definitely more active on the shells because it's kind of critical at this time um but if the shells are out of the equation the gnome spot is probably where I'd be camped. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this 75 million rebirth. Trying to set back up. We did get the second best stuff. We just kind of ran out of juice and don't really have quite enough passive to spam it open like I do on my main to get back in the sites all in one sitting. But we will get it rest assured to that. Just follow the steps I gave you, the tips on how to get fast gold. So if you found this helpful, if you liked it and you do want to see more, please subscribe and smash that bell for notifications so you are made aware when the next episode comes out. But as always, until next time, stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.